let me give you just a real simple example, real life example about communication and how important it is to understand personality types if you want to get things done as a leader. I have four boys. My two, my two middle sons, Zach is a senior this year. He's 18 years old. And Rhett is an eighth grader. He'll be a freshman next year. Um, Zach, my 18-year-old, is an off-the-charts A personality. He's the athlete, the dominant, get it done, win at all cost. When he was a little kid, we couldn't play board games with him because he'd get mad and throw the board game. And like he's just that, like he had to win at everything. And, and he's always been that way. He's a great athlete, he's going to college to play um, golf, um, very, very competitive. Every, like again, that's just who he is, right? Rhett, now same genes, right? I've only been married to one woman for 26 years. Rhett is a high B personality. It's all about the social aspect. He plays sports, but it's just because his friends are there. And he wants to be around his friends, and they're going to go eat pizza after the thing's over. You know, that's what it's all about. Um, but just, he's the one that, he's very loving, you know, he'll come up still. He's old, and he's a big kid now, and, and he just wants to love on you. And he's just, a, you know, a joy to be around, right? And so, two say, I mean, two kids, great kids, both of them, but they're just different. Anybody else have kids that are just different? So let me give you an example as a manager, as a leader, and as a father. If I want to get things done with these two kids, I have to communicate with them in two completely different ways. Let's take one very simple example. I want them to clean their room, okay? To clean their room, I have to go to Zach. My, and have, my communication with him has to be very direct and to the point. So I go to Zach. I say, Zach, get your room clean. Get it clean now. No more golf until you get it clean. You understand? Yes, sir. Off he goes. That's it. That's how I communicate with my son, okay? If I want to get something done. If I went to Rhett, my high B personality, and I communicated with him that way, what would happen? He would start crying. <laughs> Dad, what happened? Why are you mad at me? Right? So no, I have to communicate with him in a completely different way. So Rhett, I'd go, but here we're going to be, man. You want to have some fun? Is that, it's all about fun. As you want some fun? He goes, yeah, yeah, what are we doing? I said, look, we're going to clean your room. When we're done, we're going to get your best friend. It's all about relationship. We're going to get some ice cream. How about that? Oh, yeah, boom, off he goes. Do a great job, right? What do you think would happen if I went to Zach and did that with him? Hey, buddy, we're going to have some fun. We're going to clean your room. We're going to get some ice cream. What would he do? Okay. Well, then rub it later. <laughs> right? That's just how he would be. Like, so, again, two different personality types. If I want to be effective... And get things done, I have to communicate in two completely different ways. 